Okay, so here we are. This is the rocket that I'm going to be using probably for all the missions. This one has enough delta V to reach Moho and get into an orbit. Um, the uh, probe is very basic. You just have one of these uh, hex two with the antenna here. And we have down below, we just have a thermometer just to get some science while we're out there. And of course we have my standard communitron antenna on the probe. And I also have two of these um, HG55s. Two of these is more than enough to give us uh, control while we're out around Moho. And then we have, after I've separated all of these, I can deploy this uh, PV, the Gigantor. But in the meantime, I've got four of these on here just to, we have a 4,000 charge battery here. Yeah, that's the only battery I have. I've tried this mission once and what happened was I had my, I didn't have these panels on. I just had the two Gigantors. And one, once I got into space, I deployed my solar panels, but I had yet to clear all of my stages. And when I was in space, the stage when I separated it took out my solar panels. And I still had plenty of electric charge, but the last leg to get out to Moho I forgot to go into hibernation mode and it drained my battery down to zero and I lost control. So I have a probe floating around out there now with no power on it. Um, so that's how I know this will reach. It was going to be just enough fuel to get into orbit. So I hope the same orbital pattern will let us get into orbit this time. But uh, basically need about 10,000... 400 delta V. Um, well, not quite that much. I don't have, I have 9901. And that was enough to get me out there. If you do the math on the delta V chart, you need about 10,400. But we were able to do a little, little more efficient burns than that to get out there. So I'm going to try this again. Um, just a couple things. Go over this rocket right quick. It is asparagus stage, so we have four boosters. You have these uh, left and right are my first stage. And they will separate first and leaving these two here. And you'll notice that my first stage booster is piped into the second stage booster. So this fuel is going into this one. And then this one is feeding into the central so that uh, you know, we'll, these boosters will still be attached once we even reach space. So we have plenty of uh, plenty of fuel to get these into space. Then at my upper stage, I have a poodle. Uh, yeah, I've got this poodle engine on here. Um, actually, I was thinking I might have added another. I'm trying to remember if I added another fuel tank. Let's, let's add one more fuel tank. I mean, we have plenty of thrust to weight ratio. That gets me to 10,000. Looking at my thrust to weight ratio, um, I'm probably going to turn this down just a little bit because it doesn't want to track properly. It doesn't want to, you know, you normally set it on uh, about five degrees and just let it track but this one doesn't seem to want to track properly so what i'm thinking is i can turn some of these down and since i don't have symmetry on these i'm going to have to do it by the numbers here manually so that gets me to 1.76 oh that's in a vacuum okay 1.62 let me turn these down to about 
Let's try 90 and see what that does. 1.54. Let's try that. I'll try this and see if that tracks a bit better. So anyway, let's launch this and see if we can get to Moho. All right, we got our orbit. Let's just cut our engines. And now I can deploy my antennas. And my large solar panels. Okay, so now we shouldn't have no power problem. All right, now let's look at a Moho encounter. So this is what it did last time. It failed to get an intercept, but it got me close. So I'm going to create that, and let's take a look at it. Wait, this says I don't have enough delta B. No, I have delta V, but it says I need to start my burn. 131 days ago. How can that be? Let's not do that. Okay, so we finally got an encounter that is not in the past. I had to fast forward the time warp a bit. And we ended up with this. It's a 1600 Delta V transfer. It's going to get us out here close. And then I'll have to make an inclination change. And I think once I do that, I'll be able to get an encounter. So I'm going to go for this and see how we do. So I'm going to fast forward just 193 days until we make our maneuver. Let's just go ahead and head that way. All right, here we go. Cross our fingers this time. This is going to take a minute. That's full thrust, so it's just going to take a minute or 50 seconds to get the burn completed. And we're basically just going to try to match our brown line to this purple dotted line here. And then I guess we'll have to time warp over to this descending node and then adjust our inclination and try to match Moho. And then I'm going to have to manually try to make adjustments and see if I can get an encounter. All right, so we're starting to draw in here. So I'd like to get a 5.26 million All right, 5.26 million. So that's pretty close to the plotted maneuver. And next we would want to go to our descending node here. Let's see what an inclination change will look like. All right. So what I normally do, I'll line up my target plane to where it's just a single line and then I'll match mine to it like that right there. That looks that looks pretty close right there. That's another fourteen hundred. And the Delta V map calls for twenty five twenty for this burn here, so we're we're under budget, at least, on that regard. So I need to move to this node, and then I'll have to warp to this position. 
It's going to be another 93 days out. All right, let's warp to our maneuver. And I don't know what the actual inclination number is supposed to be. I, I could probably Google that, but I'm just going to try to get as close a match here as I can. Ah, got to separate. So I'm watching my sort of a teal colored line here. It should come down to match this dotted line here. And this should get us close close enough to where we can get an encounter and then I just I hope I have enough to get an orbit but moho may be the more difficult system to go to actually because when we start planning bringing uh, science stations out and bringing landing crews we're gonna have to launch we're gonna have to probably launch the rockets or get the get the lab in orbit around Kerbin first in one launch. We may have to build a ship in space basically. And let's see is that I think that's pretty close there. We'll go with that. So you'll probably have to assemble something in orbit because it's, if it takes this much delta V to get out here and we're just using a probe right now, you know, I can imagine sending something heavy out here is going to really take a lot of fuel. Okay, so how do we want to do this? I don't know if it'll give me a maneuver now. Cannot calculate because of Orbital eccentricity is too high. So we had to come to our periapsis. I'm wanting to try to use my time period as much as I can. That's pretty close. Twenty seven kilometers, but I'm still not getting an encounter. How can I not be getting an encounter at twenty seven kilometers? Or thousand kilometers, rather twenty eight thousand kilometers. Now, I don't understand if I can get within twenty eight thousand kilometers right here. I should be able to get an orbit. That should be an encounter. But yet it is not.
Oh, here we go. Okay, and can I adjust this down a bit? Like so. That's three million eight hundred thousand meters. So we want to be a little closer than that. It's about five hundred thousand. I just want to make sure. So I should be good here. I should be able to capture an orbit at that. So I'm not going to worry about that, but I'm going to see if I can pull it back down just a little bit. Yeah, I like that. Okay, very good. Let's get our this 84 days out. It's only going to take 1322 of our 3675, so that should be more than enough to get an orbit. All right, we're on our marker. And here we go. It's a lot more difficult getting to the planets for sure than it is to the moons. Hopefully the other ones will go a bit easier. I think this one has the most dramatic inclination change. And having the inclination off so much, I think that confuses the computer. It's not able to give you, it can only get you close and then you have to make adjustments. The other ones, I think the next extreme one, a uh, inclination change is going to be Drez or Elo. Yeah, Elo. Elo requires 13 uh, 1330 and then Drez is uh, 1010 so but not nearly as bad as Moho's been All right, I'm going to start throttling down here in just a second because I don't want to overshoot this That'll work. All right. Will it let me orbit this? It'll let me orbit here. No, wait a minute. I've done this before. See, this is the escape. <laughs> so if I warp to here, I'm going to blow past it. I need to warp to here. I've made that mistake in the past. And I might would still be able to get the orbit, but it would cost me a lot more delta V to burn from once I've gone so far past it. I don't know if I've ever looked at Moho before. And we're coming up on it here. All right, we're officially in Moho's sphere of influence. 
Let's try to grab a capture. We want to go retrograde here. And hope we have enough. Um, do we have enough? Maybe not. We're going to start burning now, I think. We may not have enough. We don't have enough Delta V to get a capture. Wow, that is crazy. It can't be. Hmm. Well, that is the case. So this is going to be a flyby instead of an orbit. I don't know why it's taking so much. I should only need 2,400. I should only need 2,400 to get a 30 or 20 kilometer orbit. So I don't know what I'm doing wrong here. Well, that's disappointing. I was hoping to get in an orbit here, but so I guess we'll have to see what kind of thrust we'll need. I mean, this is why we do the flyby though, you know, to figure out what problems we're going to have when we get here. Let's go ahead and get that science. So we can prove we've been here at least. High over Moho. Got 5,000 battery. That's plenty. All right. Well, we got, we got close. It ended up just being a flyby, but... Next time when we come back with our relay network, we're going to have to make sure we've got a lot more Delta V than this because this is just not enough to get an orbit. I'm going to save some fuel, let this thing wander where it wants to. We may at some point have some use for this. So I'll leave about the 1970 Delta V that's on here. But anyway, this is our Moho encounter or flyby, unfortunately. I was hoping to do an orbit, but didn't have enough Delta V to get the orbit capture. But we did at least get our science from here, and we can move on to the next planet. So thanks for watching. There should be a link in the top right that will take you to the playlist for this series if you want to go back and watch the series from the beginning. And to the top left, we have a subscribe button. Thanks for watching, and see you in the next video.